From what height must water fall to strike a turbine wheel with a vertical downward velocity of 34 meters per second? Now, it's important that we understand that this is only talking about a falling object. So, it doesn't matter what the turbine wheel is or whether it's water or whatever is falling all it tells us is that there's a falling object and we want its final velocity to equal to 34 meters per second okay so what else do we know well as we always know that when an object is falling its initial velocity is equal to zero also we know that acceleration is a constant 9,8 meters per second squared. Now you'll notice that all of these values are positive because they do tell me that downward is positive and acceleration is a vector that's going down and final velocity will also be the velocity in the downward direction therefore it is positive. Okay so let's go and since we've done all of the stock taking already just in this picture what value are we looking for? Well, they tell us from what height. In other words, the value that we do want to consider is the change in displacement. From what height must it fall? So we must look for a formula that has change in displacement, initial velocity, acceleration, and future velocity. Let's see, this one doesn't have acceleration, that one doesn't have change in displacement. This one has future velocity, initial velocity, acceleration and change in displacement so that is the formula I want to use this is average velocity I don't know it initial velocity I know is zero final velocity I know is 34 meters per second change in change in displacement is what I'm looking for time I don't know but acceleration I have as 9.8 meters per second so if we know this um, formula we can go and use it for our substitution step. So future velocity is equal to initial future velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus two a delta x. Since we know future velocity should be 34 meters squared. Initial velocity we know is zero squared. Acceleration we know is nine comma eight meters per second and change in displacement is what we want to calculate. So all we need to do now is solve for this variable. To solve that variable I am going to have to, on this side I see that 0 squared is just 0, so I'm left on the right hand side with 2 times 9.8, so I'll have to divide with 2 times 9.8. And if I do that on both sides, 2 times 9,8, I get a formula here for the change in displacement. That means the change in displacement is equal to 34 squared divided by 2 times 9,8. Let's use our calculator to get that answer. So 34 squared divided by 2 and also divided with 9.8 gives us an answer of 58,97 this is going to be 58,99 that is going to be the answer change in displacement will have to be 58, sorry not 99, 98 58,98 meters. Let's just put that in here. This substitution step, I am going to do a normal substitution. Um, in other words, just use that formula. Let me show it nicely. Just use this formula and substitute in everything that I know. 34 squared is equal to 0 squared plus 2 times 9.8 times x. The, they do tell us to ignore the deltas. When we write it, you see I didn't ignore the delta. I still wrote down the delta, but in typing it here, um, we're going to ignore the delta. Preview. And there we see that's exactly what I want it to be. 
and then finally I want my answer x I calculate it as 58.98 meters. There we go.